when you first see operator overloading, the natural reaction to be is, oh, that's so cool, i got to do that all over the place. But really, operator overloading, especially C++, can get a little cumbersome. All right? So use it intelligently. I mean, operators make sense for mathematical things, but how often do you really code up a mathematical construct? All right? So if matrices and vectors and stuff, yeah, that makes sense to use mathematical constructs. But I don't think it makes sense to add a cow to a fish. So if you have a cow class and a fish class, why overload the plus operator so I can say my cow plus your fish? That doesn't make sense. All right? First things first. Operators. If you can realize or think that operators are just functions, then this will just fall in nice place. For example, int first gets, I don't know, a number. Int second gets another number. All right? Int result gets first plus second. Well, you know, this plus, I could uh, int add, int left, int right, and then return. I'm going to pause the video, go off to the far right, so you can't see what I'm going to return. So I've written some code way off here in far right land off the screen, but basically add is going to do something. It's going to take left and right and do something. So I could... I could say, you know, int result 2 gets add first second. All right? Now I'm going to see out both of these values. I'm going to see out result, end line, control L, control V, V, uh, and then result 2. All right? Let's print both values and see what's happening here. Build started, build succeeded, and output. All right? So using the plus symbol here gave me 4441. And saying add here gave me 4441 as well. So so the reason I, I did that, if I scroll to the right, you can see I just did left plus right. But really, look at this. Let's look at this syntax. I'll make it nice and huge. Okay, we can focus on this. All right, when I do a function, I just say function name, paren, arguments. Well, when I do a plus here, that's, that's the name of my function is the plus sign. All right? If I wrote it like add there, that'd seem a little weird to you, but but really it's just it's a function name. Plus is a function. Alright? If I if I took this plus and I wrote it like a function, hmm? Do you kind of see it? I hope you do. I'm gonna call this function here named plus sign and first and and pass first and second in. Now, when I write this like this, this actually works in C++, but in a different way than you expect. So just dark corner, C++ dark corner, ignore it, warning, warning. But think of this. if It doesn't really matter what you name your functions. Our operators are still functions. And in this case, plus, I know that plus takes two arguments. All right, so let's zoom out here. And uh, let's do something a little bit more interesting. Let's make, uh, let's, let's give it, first we need a reason to overload an operator. And... And uh, what better reason than to use a vector? All right, so class, let's make it a struct. Keep it simple. Struct, let's call it vector, and all uppercase is sure. And I'm going to call, well, vectors usually uh, have an x and a y. All right, so I'm going to say vector v1. Um, let's say v1.x. I guess I can do this through a constructor, but... Uh, whatever. Uh, v v one dot x is two, and v one dot y is eight. Then let's do vector v two, and I'm just going to copy this line and paste it right here. And let's let's do smaller numbers. I'm going to do two, three there, and here I'm going to do one, and let's do four. All right, but this has to be v two. Okay, so we have. Some mathematical vectors, if you don't know what vectors are, linear algebra or uh, trigonometry, then uh, go look it up, I guess. But honestly, to learn operator overloading, uh, it, you may not need to. Uh, you, Yeah, anyway. So if I want to add two vectors together, the math behind doing so is pretty easy. I'm going to say vector result, result, result dot, result dot x is the result of adding v1.x plus v1.y, or not y, v2.x, one of the two. <laughs> we add the x components, we add the y components. All right, so result.y is this, uh, we're going to say is v1.y plus v2.y. All right, and then I could, I could see out result.x 
put a space there and result 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 dot y. All right. So last time I checked, two plus one is three, and three plus four is seven. So we should get we should get three and seven. Very nice. Very nice. But you know, it's kind of clunky to have to write all this code. It doesn't. You know, vector, the reason that we even have this vector struct is it's an abstraction. We don't want to worry about the details of a vector. I don't want to have to write this code out every time I want to add two vectors. That's error prone. It's hard to read. Um, takes up room on the screen. I have to process that in my head, and I can only process so many things in my head at once. So I want to abstract away the addition on operation. Okay, well, we do that with operator overloading. I told you at the beginning of the video that an operator is simply a function, so let me show you how to do it. If, uh, if I want to be able to write, let me show you the end result here. I want to be able to say result gets uh, v1 plus v2. Okay, that's my end goal there. Well, now the compiler is going to choke and say, hey, uh, 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 uh. I can't really add these. So it's up to us as the programmers to define what adding two vectors means. So let's do it. Uh, first of all, notice the uh, the return value. What I want to return from this expression is a vector. Thus, I can assign that vector to result. So uh, let's let's we're going to say we're going to return a vector. And of course, I used ints in my vector instead of floats. I should have used floats, but we'll have a vector of ints. Why not? Uh, operator addition, and then we're going to take a const vector reference left const vector reference right 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 and then in here I wanna in here I need to do all the gory ugly details so so let's say a uh, vector ret and then I uh, literally I'm just gonna cut this commented out code and paste it right here or no I don't wanna paste it over ret I wanna paste it right there okay but instead of a uh, ret. It looks like I used result in the in 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 my uh, my original code down here. So I want to rename these results. So I'm going to use the Alt key to drag a box. I'm going to say ret. All right. So ret here gets um, left plus the right. Okay. Do you see that? It's the same code. I just kind of changed the variable names. But ret x, ret y, and then I'm going to return ret. All right, ret is a vector, and I said I'm going to return a vector. So that mathematically makes sense to me. Uh, when I add two vectors, the left vector plus the right vector, I'm going to return a vector. And ad vector addition is defined to be the addition of the individual components, and it returns a vector. So we'll look what happened here to our red squiggly. Our red squiggly is now gone. The compiler is happy. It sees this operator plus. And it resolves this plus sign to go to this operator plus. I'm going to hit F10, build it. We're going to use the debugger to step through this a little bit. Uh, let me get rid of this window. F10, make my vectors, initialize their values. Result gets vector 1 plus vector 2. Hit F11 to step into this function. F11, here we go. We're at operator plus. Red X, red Y, return ret. And now, result, let's print the result values here. The result values are the same as what we had before. Okay, so operator overloading is kind of nice. I can just abstract away the details, and now I can add vectors instead of adding individual components here in main. I can just, I can just uh, implement, or ex call upon this operator to do it. Just to prove to you that operator plus truly is a function, let me show you. I, in C++, I can uh, result gets operator plus v1, v2. Okay, now I know this is in blue, but if you can picture it being black like the rest of the code, like the rest of our functions, I mean, basically I'm calling this function operator plus. The operator is a C++ keyword, so they're, you know, it, that's why we get the blue, but really it's just a function. Here, I'll show you. F10, build started, build succeeded. Let's step down to this. I'm going to hit F11. It's going to call operator plus. There we go, operator plus, so on and so forth, and we get the same result as before. Okay? That's that's the basics of operator overloading. There's a lot of nitty-gritty details. Um, ho hopefully I can get to doing some videos on the stuff that's relevant and then ignore all the deep dark corners that really you don't need to worry about unless they're going to bite you.